What's up guys, Deke here, uh, Broomfield, Colorado. Get me. Um, just wanted to make a quick video. I thought everybody would find this really helpful. And I'm sure there's some on there from the big guys like Goat Rope and all that. So over the years, I've wanted to tune VVE. Now V is, is great to tune, right? It's easy to tune. Um, and honestly, I can tune volumetric efficiency by eye. Yes, it takes a long time, but by just a separate analog gauge or digital gauge, whatever you have, well, analog would kind of suck, wouldn't it? But a digital gauge. Using AFRs, I, I can usually get those dialed in really well. And, um, you know, using interpolation and, and map smoothing, things like that, you can get your nice, nice waves, no peaks. Well, this isn't vo volumetric efficiency anymore. This is some fucking crazy math bullshit. And, you know, you gotta, you can't just change one saw without changing every cell around it to mold in. And there's coefficients it calculates. And it's too much for me to do in my head. I've done good on a few zones with my truck, but I digress. Uh, I decided it was time to just do it the right way, get away from narrow band tuning and get SD so I, or go SD so I get the fuel I want at all times. Um, I've looked at threads over the years and realized there's a lot of like people that have troubles with going serial port rather than buy an HP tuner pro, which, you know, lets you wire right into it. And, um, it is not. So I had this black, um, serial port to USB cable, uh, on my apex power FC pro, uh, cable or program. So you can tune those old PFC, um, standalone ECUs or replacement ECUs from your laptop rather than the little Game Boy controller. I'm probably the only guy in Colorado with that fucking cable and program still. So if you got you got an old fucking uh, Apex, yeah, I can get you handled, man. Um, but I had that hanging around. I said, you know what? I found a, a thread that made it sound really simple and realized AEM had these instructions in the box at this point. So what I've got here, AEM UEGO, this is not the X. The difference between these regular ones and the X is the depth, mounting depth profile is much shorter on the X. And the X actually has a faster refresh rate. So you're going to see your numbers, um, you know, populate much quicker or transition much quicker on the X than you will this. It is noticeable. I've had both. That being said, I'm fine with this. Anyway, it's that easy. You get the male end. This is what I did. And you can get all sorts of versions, Ethernet, whatever. But I did USB to um, RS-292 or whatever they call it. It's a serial port male plug is what it is. A nine pin. And then I ordered this yesterday on Amazon. Had it delivered this morning. And this is just a female. And it's a 10 foot long cord so I could run it across the truck. And I just cut the other end off. Now this is the harness for my AEM gauge. Red goes to power, black goes to ground, blue is your signal cable. Now you're gonna go to pin two on this and technically they are, usually they are, not technically, but typically they're labeled one, two, three, four, five. So what I did is used a, a test light and plugged it in hole two and touched the wire ends to a positive terminal on a battery until the test light glue or lit up. Uh, obviously you gotta have your test light ground lead connected to the ground of a battery, but you could do it under your hood wherever you want. Anyway, mine ended up being yellow. That does not mean yours will be. My ground, which is pin five on this, was red, and that's it. You're wiring blue to pin two. You're wiring your ground off the serial, which is pin five, to a chassis ground of any kind. You plug them in. I didn't have to download any extra drivers or anything. It just fucking read it. It started working, which is ideal. Once you've done that, you'll come in here with the logging stopped. So make sure, you know, you've got it stopped. You're not currently logging or it won't let you. You right click an empty channel space, click add channel, come down to external inputs. You're going to go to serial port, not AEM serial port there's an aem tab under serial port you'll open that and you choose whichever one you want your afr your eq ratio double click that it will automatically add it over here i've already got mine added so i'm not going to add it again i've got eq and afr and you literally plug this shit in and log and it starts reading the numbers uh, for anybody that's interested in getting tunes, I'm going to start picking up ECU tuning on GM Gen 3 and Gen 4 vehicles again. 
Uh, I took a little while out of the game. I wasn't putting my best into it. Nobody's engines blew up or, or anything like that, but we weren't getting good results. And I was, I was in a place in my life where I'd become a single father, uh, full custody and a lot had changed. And I, I was, I was going through things that was smartest to shut it down because people weren't getting the best version of my work. Uh, I am going to take on street builds, street vehicles. So I don't want all these, you know, hacked up full on race cars, no fucking high level horsepower shit that I've got to work on for months and months. But if you guys want a solid, reliable, drivable ECU tune on your gen three or four trucks or cars, give me a call. Let me know what you got going on. As long as the thing's in good shape, nothing's been hacked up, chopped, and it's not going to turn into a chore for me, and I can do my job comfortably, my prices will not have changed. Six fifty, that's lifetime retunes up to the point of internal work, um, and I'll get you, I'll get you lined out, and get you your torque reduction. We can turn off cat codes, we can uh, or reduce your torque reduction. We can do all that. We we can play with your timing a little, get you set for for the fuel that we got up here and uh we can calibrate your math get it smoothed out a bit so you got a, a more linear transition through that range uh, we can do a few things without even you know too much work i prefer you guys have a wide band installed it's just safer and easier and i do not have an innovate um transferable one so uh that being said i know they run super lean especially uh up here which is odd, right? But I think it's because it compensates. But yeah, I think almost everyone I've ever touched is in the high 15s to 16s on the stock tune at driving speeds or cruising conditions. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you. I tried to make it. I know I'm a talker. I tried to make it quick as I could. Let me run you back down. Male serial to USB. Plugs in to female serial. Got a long one so I didn't have to do extra wiring. Cut the end off your serial cable. Test lead port two. They're both on the top, by the way. Five is all the way to the left. Two is the second one from the right. Test lead to make sure you get the right colors. Port two will go to your signal wire on the AEM wideband. Port five goes to a chassis ground. Done. You got logging capabilities in wideband.